Hello. In this series of videos, we are going to discuss about WordPress, its installation, working and using WordPress for a website. Now, before we proceed, let us discuss what exactly is WordPress. So WordPress is one of the very old content management systems, which was launched way back in 2003 and is still going strong. WordPress is being used by around 65% of the websites which are based on content management systems as compared to other content management systems. So what exactly is WordPress? As I mentioned, it's a content management system. It allows you to easily manage your content on a website or for a website. Of course, you can use it for personal purpose on your local machine and other things in many different ways. But primarily, people are using WordPress for deploying websites and managing them in an easier manner. So when WordPress was initially launched, it was launched on the basic idea of another package called as the cafe log b2 slash cafe log which basically was a simple logging system now what exactly is a log people often use the term blog i have written a blog post or something blog basically stands for web log a short form of web log is called as blog and log basically is a mechanism of storing your information content or data with a date and time so WordPress allowed. Uh, so WordPress allows us to store our information by default with a date and timestamp, and which can be shown in a chronological order or reverse chronological order. Which means the latest information or latest posts which we do will be displayed first. Now, that was the basic idea of WordPress, where people would use it for their blog engines and uh, write their articles, posts and share. Still many people use it for that because WordPress interestingly has a small footprint. That means around 1620 MB of web space is required for WordPress and it uses a database where your content will be stored and obviously how much content you create that will be the extra space that you will need. Barring those things, WordPress over a period of time has grown very large. If you uh, look at the WordPress website, this is the WordPress website, uh, wordpress.org, you can see there are around almost now 11,000 themes that are there. Themes basically are a mechanism which provides look and feel of your website, how it will look. There are plugins. Now, as I said, WordPress was initially designed for a blog engine, but today WordPress is being used by many publishing houses, some e-commerce websites and all. And this can be achieved by enhancing WordPress's functionality by adding multiple plugins. So you can see there are around 60,000 plugins and growing every day. And these are free plugins. Now, when we say free plugins, free themes, WordPress itself is free and is available under the GNU GPL license. Fine. So you can download it and use it without any problems. So in this particular series of discussions, we are going to see how to get WordPress. What are the basic requirements? If you want to go ahead with WordPress, either on your local machine or you want to use it on a web server, etc. How you can do this? What are how do we create the database and other things? And how do we finally install and start working with it? So those will be in upcoming sessions.